not do a good job. I don't like it. I feel violated. Every time I drive over that bridge, I feel violated, bro. I feel violated, bro. That ain't the reason. That's the reason. Look at this man, radiator pipe. It's corroded, so it's just leaking out. The good thing is I was able to pump off. I was able to pump off. So I'm empty. We got the coolant just draining down. So that pipe was corroded real, real bad, man. Yes, man, this truck is always giving me issues, man. Golly. We're gonna get her back together and then we're gonna get back rolling. I got the mechanic on it right now, Mr. Angel. He's gonna take care of that thing. He's pulling off that pipe right now. Cause what happened was when I pulled up, I seen the uh oh there we go. Wow. See, this is why I ain't no mechanic, man. Oh yeah, it's not easy to go See Angel, he the man. He know how to get to it. I can't do it. I just drive, man. Yeah, when I pulled up and I started pumping off today, this morning, man, I seen some fluid i said what's that it wasn't there this morning sure enough radiator pipe bust i'm gonna show y'all everything that goes on in trucking man damn look at this side right here golly look at that good god almighty wow this is actually a good thing i'd rather this happen on the yard versus being on the side of the road or somewhere else so i'm actually glad this happened here i'm gonna catch back with y'all when we get this thing squared away all right guys man got the truck fixed been back rolling we was behind so i had to get out of there and hurry up and come back up here on this side of town to grab this load and head back to where we was at broken down which is in woodstock georgia crazy wednesday Crazy Wednesday. This comes to show you, man. I guess they're right. Things happen. It's not your regular nine to five, that's for sure. Where you know everything is, you know, set and put. Things is always happening in the truck. Always. But anyways, man, we're in the country. We're trucking through the country today. I'm glad I got y'all with me today, man. I'm glad I got y'all with me today. Cause we trucking through the country. We in Cartersville, baby. Yeah. Home of Taylor Transport. It's overcast today, all y'all, as y'all can see, man. So not a sunny day, but pretty cool. 60 degrees outside, light little drizzle, haven't sped up, haven't slowed down and just stayed at wiper blade, <laughs> speed number one. Hope y'all are doing good, man. day started this morning early man i started i got up at three o'clock this morning i got to the yard by 3 30. no i take that back i got to the yard by 3 10. and by the time i finished pre-tripping the truck and that's what's crazy by the time i finished pre-tripping the truck it was about 3 45. only because i added coolant to the truck so 
I added coolant to the truck. I added, topped it off with some oil. You know, she was all ready to go. No leak and nothing, right? Drove all the way up here to uh, Rock Mart early. I got up to Rock Mart. I got there this morning. I got here about, uh, what time I got? What time I pulled up this morning? Because the first load in uh, Woodstock had to be delivered at 7 a.m. So by the time I got up here, it's an hour and 20 minutes from uh, my yard where I parked my truck at. So by the time I got up here, it was about, I want to say, man, I want to say it was about 5, 45-ish. And then by the time I got loaded, it was right at like 6. I say about 6:10. So then I had it. I left there at like 6, 6 o'clock, 6:10 around there, and then boogie on down to um, uh, Woodstock, so I could be there in time at seven. And with the whole transportation from here to Woodstock, it was 55 minutes. Right now it's saying 49, but this morning it was 55 minutes. By the time I got there, it was exactly 7 o'clock. Beautiful. Pulled up. Everything went fine. Everything was was all uh, smooth. And then next thing I know, man, when I'm pumping off, right? So when I'm pumping off, what I like to do is I like to walk around the truck. You know, get a little walk in, a little exercise. It takes about, and what's stuck, it takes about roughly 15 minutes to uh, pump off each. Apartment. So you're looking at anywhere between 45 minutes. I like to do laps around the truck. You know, it's about a, it's about a mile walk. Just, just me keep walking around that truck, walking around that truck. It adds up to a mile. I tested it out on Ostrava. It was right at like 1.1 1 .1 mile or something. 1.1 or 2. But anyways, uh, yeah, so three laps around the truck. I started to realize I seen um, I seen um, coolant on the floor, on the ground. I said, whoa, what's going on here? And at first I thought maybe I put too much in, in uh, this morning. Maybe it's just all uh, like, uh, you know, like an overflow or something. So, I kept on doing my lap around the truck and I noticed that that bad boy is steady pouring out. Steady pouring out. So I said, oh boy, it's gonna be one of them days. So I just said, all right, well, I hopped back in the truck and I kept checking the coolant like to see if it will come on and it eventually it eventually did come on. So I just cut the engine fan on, kept the engine cool, kept the temperature right around like 160. Which was good. So when I got finished pumping off a call the mechanic, let him know what's happening. And then I popped the hood. And when I popped the hood, I noticed that on the second part of the radiator cap, there's two caps on this uh, uh, coolant reservoir. There's the main cap that you fill in, you fill in, and then the, uh, there's another cap on the side. And that cap on the side, it has like a little nipple at the end, I guess, for overflow. So coolant was flowing out of that pretty steadily. And then it stopped. And then right when it stopped, I was like, all right, I think it was an overflow issue. We're good. So the mechanic told me what to do, what not. He told me just go ahead and add some more coolant in there. And because um, he was away, so he said, add some more coolant in there, go make it run, and then come back. I said, okay, fine. Just about when I was getting ready to hop back in the trunk, something tell me, man, just check, check everything, make sure that there's no leaks. And sure enough, when I looked down, and I see that pipe, I see there's a steady drip coming from that pipe. Thought it was residue from everything else that was, uh, everything else prior, but it wasn't, it was a steady drip. So I called him and let him know, hey man, now I'm have to stay here and wait for you because I just found a corporate. It's a steady drip coming from that pipe. And well, he pulled up and that's what we found. The first pipe, it was just corroded. So, um, 
part that didn't have the part in stock, we'd have to order it, man. The plan that needed cement ASAP, so that kind of messed, messed us up. But luckily with that first load, it kept them over until where we're at right now. So he uh he uh he just basically took the pipe off, cut the bad section out, put a tube on that section, clamped them down with two clamps on each end. One end here, one end here, with two clamps, put it back on, and here we are. So now we're heading back up to uh, Woodstock. I gotta tell y'all, man, I love driving out here to uh, Cartersville, man. Cartersville is, is beautiful, man. People got land out here, cows, grazing, man, all kinds of cool stuff going on. That must be Taylor Transport. No, that ain't there. I don't think I'll see one of the yellow trucks right there. Now I'll pass the bird. But it is beautiful out here, so I like it. This is the coolest part about trucking, man, is being able to go. I can't imagine those guys that drive over the road. Holy smokes, man. Those guys that drive over the road, man, they get to see it all. The number one biggest reason I love coming out here to Cartersville uh, is right above this hill, right? Just over this hill right here. This is the number one reason I love coming to Cartersville. Number one. It's my dream company. The dream company I want to drive for. Like the ultimate goal for me, right? Now, right here. Boom and boom. I don't know with the angle y'all gonna be able to see it, but that's Taylor Transport. And Taylor Transport got nothing. Look at all the rigs. They got nothing but long nose Peterbilts, man. I seen that guy video on YouTube right there. Taylor Transport. I look over there every single time I pass by. Every single time I pass by, I look over there, man. But that's the main reason I love coming out here. Just, just so I get to drive by Taylor Transport and just take a quick little view of it and all that. The trust they got on the yard.
This side of the line, people don't respect truckers, man. It's time to come over. They do not want to let you over. It happened to me on the first trip up here. I literally had to come to a stop right here. And finally, someone with a BMW was flashing their lights telling me to come on. This is another example because I got to take this turn. I got to take this turn to the far right, right? So it's two, it's two turn lanes. But right when I get across the bend right here, I got to jump right back over because it automatically turns into a one lane. first gear all the way out. So that's second. I'm going to keep her in third. Keep her in third and ride her all the way up. I ain't going to fourth. 
This is what I did last time. I said, oh yeah, see the RPMs come up off the guy a little bit. The RPM got all the way up to 1700 RPMs. I was like, oh yeah, I got plenty of RPMs to ship and catch my momentum. Shouldn't have did that. So now I learned. Making sure he's seeing me. It's a good drive. It's a good driver, man. I see you though. I see you, OG. I see you. I see you, big time. All right, y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all be safe. Y'all drive safe. Please drive safe. Folks out here acting like they don't see us. Y'all saw what I just went through. <laughs>